it. <laughs> now that I have your attention, let's talk about some SEO. Hi guys, we're going to be covering some basic SEO tools today. A lot of these tools are actually free and they do have the paid versions. One thing I'd like to start off with is Firefox. A lot of designers use Firefox mainly because it has so many great plugins but one of the great plugins that I like to use with Firefox and you can see in SEO Quakers had 2 million downloads so just gives you an idea of how popular this tool is. Now you can install this with other browsers too, Chrome, Opera, Safari as well if you have a Mac. But the fantastic thing about this tool is if you type in anything into Google it will tell you exactly, if you just follow my cursor now it will tell you exactly how much page rank each domain has. So at the moment you can see I've just gone site.facebook.com and it's brought up all the Facebook domains. Say we change it to something like web development, it will show all the top websites. I'm looking at .com.au at the moment which is the Australian browser. You can see that the website which is number one on Google which is a very competitive word which is web development. A lot of design and development people are good with SEO and therefore it is a very competitive area and you can see that Wikipedia is a page rank 6 which you can see me highlighting there and this is exactly how many pages are indexed this is why Wikipedia ranks for so many keywords because it's just got such a volume of specific topics that it covers which just makes it look like an authority in Google's eyes if you look at the other sites under we've got a page rank 4 so it sort of gives you an idea of how the competition is obviously the higher that number is towards 10 10 being the maximum which can only really be seen on big websites like Google you can see it's quite competitive if you wanted to break down an actual site you've got the option of doing the site dot dot and the website name now the other great thing about SEO Quake, it does give you links to other great sites which can give you information. One is Alexa. Now if you just follow my cursor there, we can have a look at the Alexa rank of Wikipedia. You can see it's a number 7. If we are to open that in a new browser, it will give more specific details on why exactly that is one of the best websites in the world. The first site which is I think Facebook or Google at the moment, that's one of the most traffic to you know like the sites which are sort of more lower on the scale which are around I think it covers up to about 20 million until it stops in indexing them and ranking them. As you can see that's the rank of it in America and that's the global rank. It's actually more popular worldwide than just in America. Now another great tool I like to use also which is through SEO Quake is also SEMrush. Now I can click the link here which will basically give me more information. Now this is another great free site SEMrush.com and as you can see this site's Wikipedia is trending up. This is how many views roughly it gets. I think SEMrush works this out by how many keywords are ranking and then sort of averaging the numbers out. At the moment it looks like it's getting about 806,000. I think it would probably be a bit high just in my experience. I feel that the numbers are very conservative but it will give you an idea. Say a client comes to you and says they're getting thousands and thousands of people coming through to their site, you can quickly just throw this into SEMrush and sort of work out really where they're at because some people exaggerate a bit I've found. This is some of the organic keywords they're ranking for. Now if you pay the full version you can see the full 17 million. It would be very time consuming to go through that but if you've got a smaller site and it might rank for 100 words and you might only know 50 of those keywords and some of them might be, as you can see the positions here are all around 2 and 3. Say you've got a site that's ranking 9 for a keyword that you would find it being quite great to obviously get number 1 on Google. You can put a little bit more SEO time into that keyword and it might necessarily be a keyword that you didn't know was going to rank that high. So it obviously gives you that awareness that now you can achieve that high ranking. Anyway, so that's uh, a bit about SEMrush. Also, we've got Arefs, which is another great software. At the moment, I've just typed msn.com, and you can see that it's actually got just over 450 million links. It is trending down a bit. Sometimes this isn't historically accurate, and I've 
found uh, that quite a few times. But you know, it gives you a good idea roughly of how many links are coming into the site. Referring domains is quite important as well because that shows how many unique IPs. Say you might get a thousand links from one website. All those links are important, but Google's going to like it if you've got links coming from a variety of sites. So it's very important to get a number of referring domains and not just get all the links from one or two sites, which may look very unnatural in Google's eyes. It sort of shows you the keywords they're sort of ranking for, also what sort of dot, what sort of countries they're coming from. So dot de would be Deutschland, which is Germany, and you got dot fr, which I believe is France. So it's good to get a good variety of that because it sort of mimics that you have a viral effect all over the world, which Google likes because it means that you're supplying content which is great for people all over the world. You can also see some of the good keywords that you're ranking for, and these are the referring domains as well. As you can see, no text actually means that it's a variety of keywords that it's ranking for. One of the big main keys that it's ranking for is advertise, which I can imagine being quite a good keyword for MSN, mainly because I think they, a lot of their revenue model is based on advertising. So it'd be quite a good site to rank for. And then you've got do follow, sorry, and no follow, and then their side wide distribution as well. Anyway, I think I've covered that pretty well. So we've looked at AREFs. So if you want to log on to that, you can look at that straight away. We've also got SEMrush.com, which is another great one. SEO Quake, which is a fantastic tool just to get quick ideas of where it's going. And this site as well, this is fantastic. High quality writing if you want to get some good content on there. Another fantastic site to get content. And uh, I think that sort of covers it all. Thanks for joining me. I will go through more tutorials on more advanced stuff as we move along. And uh, thank you very much. See you later. Bye.